Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is a rice news analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Great Malabai. Good morning, Ruben. Good, Good morning. morning, Ayo. Good morning, Mr. Efeni. Good morning, Rufa. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Ayo, looking uh, <laughs> dapper. Thank you, sir. I <laughs> don't know where that came from, but well, I seem to know, but I won't say that. I should it too. Well, we start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. We start with the window story. U.S. court sets to release Tinubu's academic records today. Gives Chicago State University 12 p.m. deadline to comply. Sets expedited schedule for discovery. Deposition of varsity designee must be completed by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Well, after the legal ding-dong uh, in the U.S. courts, well, finally, the courts has ruled that those documents, I don't want to call them Chicago papers, the Tinubu documents of Chicago Univers State University to be released. Well, of what value would that be to Atiku's case at the Supreme Court? I just leave the lawyers to, to just have the headache of uh, deciding. Of course, at the end of the day, the Supreme Court that will decide if any document is so presented for consideration, whether they are witty or not. But I just quote, um, use the words of the legal team of Tinubu that if these papers are released, they will cost irreparable uh, damage to their clients. Well, of any legal word, we wait and see what the article team, legal team will do with the documents when released to them. Any shaking revelation, we we'll also wait to see. Uh, we we'll just keep watching brief as it were and report and uh, comment. Now, the lead story, after meeting with federal government labor calls emergency neck meeting to reconsider planned nationwide strike. Tinubu announces 35% uh, provisional wage increment for all federal workers. Labor requests for higher wage to be presented to president for further consideration. Of course, after that meeting yesterday, the president earlier in the day, in his Independence Day, uh, broadcasts announced 25,000 uh, uh, 25, Naira wage, um, wage for, the for the next six months for federal workers. But, of course, 35,000 Naira after the negotiation with labor um, uh, and, of course, the federal government team. The chief of staff to the president was part of that team, the labor minister, amongst others. Yes, could that increment from 25 we heard in the morning to 35, the outcome of that meeting be a product of negotiation. But we're also told that labor has argued and they're asking for more. And uh, the federal government team promised to take their request to the president, President Bola Metinibu, for consideration, of course, other uh, issues, uh, other items on agreement from that meeting, VAT on diesel will be um, waived for the next six months. Thereafter, what happens? You want to ask, of course, fast tracking hmm, the word, the provision of compressed national gas buses to ease public transportation difficulties associated with the removal of fuel subsidy. Uh, of course, um, Government will also commence uh, the payment of 75,000 Naira to 15,000 households across the country. But the other part of it, <laughs> the, a, a subcommittee to be constituted to work out the details of implementation <laughs> of all items for consideration. So another subcommittee. I hope this subcommittee will not go to sleep after um, the meetings. However, labor has to reach back to their, to their own constituency to decide whether the planned nationwide strike 
scheduled for tomorrow will still go on. Now, the Guardian newspaper reporting this story, federal government dangles 35,000 Naira wage top up. Others as Labour revises decision. The Daily Trust newspaper, Labour presses on to decide on strike today, while the Punch newspaper, FGOK's allowance for senior staff labor may suspend strike. Vanguard newspaper, federal government meeting with, with NLCTUC ends in deadlock. That's the way God, uh, the Vanguard newspaper is reporting the story. That's the Vanguard newspaper, 24 hours to the nationwide uh, strike. Vanguard is saying that meeting is actually a deadlock. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, 63. 63rd anniversary, federal government backtracks on 25,000 Naira provisional wage. Now extends 35,000 Naira to all workers. Yes, the 25,000 Naira was for uh, those in the lower bracket, but the 35% as negotiated is for all workers in government uh, receiving their money, their salaries from government treasury. At the federal level, that is what's going to happen at the state. Now, the leadership newspaper, 60 days to go. Federal government turns heat on MDs of worry port Harcourt refineries, threatens to wield the big stick over December deadline. Upbeat local production will halt, will halt. Yes, forex crisis refineries to produce 160 barrels per day per day that would be great news if the two refineries so mentioned one in port Harcourt, one in worry come into full operation alongside the dangote refinery we will all be waiting for the rollout products then perhaps it will be a very happy new year for nigerians by December, that's what we'll be singing. The Nigerian Tribune newspaper, yes, the story there. Um, let's just look. The Delta fire incident. Yes, above the masthead of Nigerian Tribune, Delta tanker explosion. Air fire RLC confirms eight deaths, eight buses, five trailers, two tankers burnt. And this whole problem started with the bad road that led mm. to the Tumbling of that tanker, and of course, people who don't care for their lives going there to scuttle and hustle to take fire. And of course, that explosion and another JC replica. Yes, yeah, in fact, that distance not too far away from JC. Now, this Daily Sun newspaper strike FG makes concessions, labor to consult organs. Blueprint newspaper. Tinimbu at 63rd Independence Anniversary. Our triumphs shall define us as a nation. Yes, capturing the uh, speech of the president. Now, the Abuja Inquirer, the city paper of Abuja, ground rent. CBN, police, IBB Golf Club, top debtors list. Wiki recovers 1.9 billion naira of 34 billion naira old. Revokes additional 25 plus 189 others get three months grace to build or you lose your plot well uh, now the foreign newspapers quickly the times of london doctors handed 7900 to cover one strike shift taxpayers subsidizing workers as nhs hospitals forced to pay inflated rates while the Guardian of UK reporting Tory factions threaten to wreck Sunak's conference. Prime Minister's hopes of uniting party founder amid tax and culture uh, battles. Ruben Rufai Ayo. Quickly, two, three following things. One, the Conservative Party conference, uh, we started yesterday, which is going to go for about four days. And the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, uh, you know, saying that he's targeting inflation. With the hope that if he's able to tackle inflation, he will be able to uh, win the next round of election and lead uh, the Tories uh, to victory. But the major problem he has is ensuring discipline within his own party. Because big hitters like Kemi Badnoch, uh, Suela, Braverman, Priti Patel, 
you know, we may also be interested in that uh, uh, position. I've been making policy pronouncements ahead of that uh, Conservative uh, Party uh, conference. And there are MPs who are saying that uh, the Tories may be going into the next general elections as underdogs. But, you know, we'll see how uh, that uh, Conservative Party conference uh, works out. And also, uh, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt uh, stressing in his, uh, you know, address later, a preview of it has been reported, that he's more interested in people working rather than relying on benefits. And then, of course, uh, the Chancellor had since ruled out tax cuts. So it looks like the race for the next election in the UK has started. But what is important is to see that even at this level, there is this emphasis on, you know, uh, on uh, issues, issues yeah. on ideas, you know, rather than... Even within the same party. Even within the same party. Second, there was a picture on that front page of uh, the Times that you showed. That's uh, uh, Simone Biles, you know, who has returned to the World uh, Championships and, in fact, uh, has managed to set new record. After okay. 25 medals, seven That's the Guardian, the Guardian of UK. If yes, you just put she's it the on Guardian, there. right? Yeah. You know, uh, after yeah, two years, powers. when she said she wanted to go and address uh, mental block, you mm -hmm. know, just made for excellence. Yes, it's also in front of other uh, papers. And that, you know, uh, uh, movement code that she exhibited, she was the first woman, you know, to, to first do it. And at 26, the oldest American woman uh, to participate in the gymnastics. So we, we like to see talents like this. Uh, you know, achieving and, uh, you know, achieving even more, uh, despite the fact that there's so much, uh, uh, you know, uh, despair uh, around the world. And then the Americans managed to uh, prevent a shot. Yes. You know, last minute. You know, we said it. Uh, yes. Somehow they, a deal will just pop up somewhere. But, they, but again, national interest uh, was more important than, uh, you know, international diplomacy because they slashed the promise of uh, billions of dollars for Ukraine. Although President Biden has reassured the Kiev uh, that they shouldn't worry. But look, it's a lesson here. What comes first is the national interest. And I hope Nigeria will learn a lesson from that. No country goes about doing for that Christmas. You think of your own you know, interest first, matter this. Thank you very much.